What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and after updating to iOS 8.2 on my iPhone 5 and 4S, I was checking it out, seeing how it is, and it actually seems like it's a little bit faster. So I thought, hey, I should put that to the test. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how iOS 8.2, the newly released firmware, compares to iOS 8.1.3, both on the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S. So I just wanna see with all these new features, new fixes, did Apple change the speed performance? Did the Wi-Fi get changed at all? Is it any better? And just how is the general usability? Now I'm going to show you real quick the firmwares I am running. And first off, the very first change in iOS 8.2 is that you'll have this Apple Watch app on supported devices. So if you have a 5, 5C, 5S or above, you will have Apple support. No, there is no Apple support for iPads or iPod touches. So only iPhones will see this application. So let's go ahead and see how iOS 8.1.3 compares to the new iOS 8.2. All right, so here I've got these two devices set up. On the left is going to be 8.1.3. All right is 8.2, 8.2. Now this is the iPhone 5, both CDMA models, not that it matters, and both CDMA models, iPhone 4S's. Now the reason I wanted to test two devices was because you can get a pretty wild difference between a 4S and a newer device, 4S being the oldest of them all. So I just wanted to show you guys how it is on a slightly newer device and a slightly older one. So I've got all of these devices set up. Let's go ahead and run the very first test, which is a startup test. I'm gonna start them up using a power adapter. They're gonna start up all at the same time and we'll be able to get a conclusive result from that. All right, so initiating the shutdown sequence, and in a moment here, I'm gonna flip the adapter to on, and these guys will all boot up at the very same time. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, and the process has started. So here we can see that these devices have all booted up at the same time, and in a moment here, we'll be able to see which one is the winner out of 8.1.3 and iOS 8.2. Now, startup doesn't really mean much because newer firmwares do have more stuff to load, but it's always a good thing to see, you know, which device is going to load up a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And out of the iPhone 5s, it looks like iOS 8.1.3 is slightly ahead. Yep, it's usable a few seconds before iOS 8.2. And looks like 8.1.3 was a little bit faster on the iPhone 4S as well, but it was less noticeable on the iPhone 4S. Okay, cool. So we can see that 8.1.3 does boot faster, but again, that may be because 8.2 has more things to load, more features, whatever it may be. Now let's go ahead and launch some applications and see where that puts us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the app stores. I know these take a very long time to load. So looks like iOS 8.2 was a little bit quicker here. Let's try it on the 5. So it looks like 8.1.3, just a tad bit faster there. Now let's go ahead and load settings. And so just a little bit faster on the 8.2 device. Let's try uh, maps. Again, just a little bit faster, but that all adds up. When you're using the device, those little pauses really do make a big difference. So let's try camera. Just a little bit faster, as you guys can see right there. I mean, that's great. You can take pictures even just a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and run through those on the iPhone 5. So it looks like they're just about the same here. Let's try settings. So just about the same. So it's going to be more noticeable that 8.2 is faster on the iPhone 4S. I would almost recommend updating at this point, but let's go ahead and wait and see, load a couple more things, try a couple other tests, and then we can get our final result. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run a Geekbench on all of these guys, uh, see where that puts us at 8.1.3 versus 8.2. So I'm gonna start it on the iPhone 5s and on the 4Ss. So the iPhone 5 has finished. It's just about the same score, which is good. When Apple adds new features to a firmware, it's always good when the score remains the same and doesn't get lower, all right? And there are the iPhone 4S scores. So exactly like the iPhone 5, the scores have remained the same, but that's good because the new features do make up for it. All right, so lastly, I do want to go ahead and try a Wi-Fi speed test, and then we're going to load some web pages between the devices as well. So with all of these being connected to my Airport Extreme 3, I'm going to go ahead and run the tests one at a time so that they don't interfere with each other. And the test is just finishing up on the last 4S, but wow, I can already see Apple has definitely made progress on iOS 8.2 when it comes to Wi-Fi speed. There's certainly a difference on the 4S from 12 to 19 and a half megabits and a slightly better upload speed on the iPhone 5 
5, there was a, you know, half a point there. So Apple certainly did update the iOS 8.2 Wi-Fi drivers on iOS. I can see a difference. I don't know how that'll reflect with you, but the very last test I want to run, just load some web pages, see if there's any improvement there. All right. So with all of the apps cleared out, I'm going to go ahead and load Reddit on these devices. So I'm going to go ahead and load on the 5 right now. And looks like exactly the same. And here it is on the 4S. So 8.2 did load just a tad bit better. So from these tests, what I can tell you guys is that the iPhone 4S certainly did see an improvement. While on newer devices, you're less likely to see a noticeable difference on the 4S, there is certainly a difference as well as the iPhone 5. So I would recommend upgrading. However, again, if you guys are jailbroken, try and stay away from it. We will see a jailbreak eventually, just not at the moment. And I doubt you guys want to be stuck without one. But otherwise, in every way, iOS 8.2 is better. It's more stable. The performance is better. I don't see why you shouldn't update to it. So I do hope this video showed you guys that iOS 8.2 is slightly better when it comes to performance than 8.1.3, and it is worth updating to. If you guys want to see the entire review, you can click on that down below. I have a ton of videos. And of course, a jailbreak will be available soon. I will be sharing it with you guys when it is available. So subscribe for any news. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Enjoy iOS 8.2 and the benefits it brings. Peace.